Guys, Tom went out and bought me this. So guys, good morning. I'm actually, don't ask why I've got like half my dressing gown on and half my dressing gown off. Everybody in the house is getting sick, um, they're getting colds. The weather has suddenly changed from being decent to just being really cold. Um, to be honest, it's not too bad today, um, but I'm worried that I'm gonna get sick and the fact that when Tom's sick he snores and he's very restless and he gets up through the night and it wakes me up so I usually end up sleeping in the spare room when that when he's sick. Um, I will give him a thumbs up and pat on the back though. He hasn't been sick in a good while, like since June or July I think, which is a record for him. Usually he's sick at least like once a month, sometimes twice a month. Um, mainly because he works with children and they carry a lot of germs. I want to quickly address my face situation. like. I mentioned recently that I started uh, that I started a, a new medication that's actually making me break out and it's one of the most common side effects so along with I haven't really been also I haven't used my proactive so I don't know if that's making a difference and um, but apart from the big spots we've got one two three four five which actually that is a bite that I picked so maybe just not count that one I have quite, you know, patching of spots. I want to talk about my spots, guys, because I feel like people don't talk about their acne or their spots because it's gross to have it, but some people just have spots. They just have that type of skin. It's not their fault. There's nothing you can do about it. It's not because you're unclean. Um, I wash my skin every day, especially my face skin, even if I don't shower all the time just because it's with chronic illness. It's hard. It's tiring. But yeah, um, so a lot, so a lot, this is the situation right now. I'm hoping, I think they said after three to four months of being on the medication, it settles down. So I'm hoping that by New Year that this is all going to be gone and my skin will be back to how it used to be. Because basically all these like little patches like on my cheeks here, that's my like problem areas. I don't really get it on my forehead or up here, usually that's clear. It's just my cheeks here and like sometimes my neck and sometimes my chest as well but at the moment I am getting a lot on my chest. But yeah, so today is a rest day. I'm gonna do a face mask. I'm gonna do some treatments on my face and hopefully that will help a bit. But really, it's just a medication. It's causing a lot of I, um, on stuff to be unbalanced in my body, which is obviously not helping. <sighs> I am exhausted, but I do have to pick up meds today. There is stuff I need to do today. So let's crack on, let's go get my feed and hopefully today will be a better day. So guys, I've been thinking, by the way, don't worry, like nothing's happened to my tube. It's just, I've taken the tape off my face and as you can see, it's very, very red and sore. They don't make face masks. Let me balance you. Guys, we have a major beauty problem for chronically ill people, especially people who have nasal tubes. Just, you know, that specific criteria. They don't make face masks compatible with tubes, guys. So I was thinking maybe I could put a slit in it or I don't know or maybe I should just tape it to my nose like put a bit of tape like right here and just let it dangle like a noodle because like, I really want to treat this side of my face because as you can see it's really sore from the tape hmm I'll keep you guys updated on this situation <laughs> okay so this is the current situation let me face the light so I've got a bit of tape like right here and then I've just tied my tube back into my hair um, I'm gonna pop on the face mask um, I can't remember who bought me this one. I think it maybe was Fran or Sophie. They both got me ones from Primark, like their new range, which are really cool. Let me show you the other one. It's this awesome, awesome unicorn one. They're so freaking cool. So I'm going to pop on this one now because I'm saving this one because I, I really love this one. It's got unicorns on it. to look like a crazy person y'all <laughs> oh my god it's so cold Ooh. I don't really know how you're meant to get it to stick but I feel like I shouldn't be talking okay now we are looking like a crazy person huh Ha ha.
<laughs> How to do face masks with a feeding tube. I was gonna cut it, but I really think this is okay, really. I'm not missing out on too much. Right, I'm gonna shut up. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Progress report, guys. We're about three or four minutes in, and I feel like a bit tingly. Like, I feel like maybe my mast cells might be starting to react. So, um... Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated, but I really want to leave it on because I feel like my skin needs moisture. Because apparently if your skin is super oily, it's because it's really dry and it's trying to get moisture back into it. And this is a moisture one, which is why I picked this one. Plus, I wanted to save the unicorn one for last. But I didn't realise this had a cool pattern on it too. I'm going to have to go to Primo now. We're going to make it our mission. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I last updated. I ended up having a massive reaction to the mask. Um, it wasn't a bad one, but... My face did swell up a bit, I don't know if you can still tell if it's swollen or not, um, and it went really red and ra and rashy, um, yeah, really not feeling it today, uh, I need to go pick up my meds, but I'm just not, I just really don't want to at the moment, I mean, I can go without them really till Tuesday, it's only the Diflum spray that I really, really need, assuming that they've done that prescription, but yeah. Hey guys, so, <laughs> we're on our way to the doctors now. And we're picking up my prescription and then after we're doing that we're on our way to the Lowry because I really want to get um Yay! it's basically like a mini shopping center that's not very big but it, it's it's nice um I want to get a onesie because the onesie that I've got at the moment is they're quite old and it's a bit it's kind of uncomfortable to wear because it's worn on the inside now sorry I don't know why it's so bright right now put my hand there and um, yeah it's really worn on the inside and uh, it's just not comfortable to wear as nice as it is, I just want a nice fluffy soft one, and especially with my mast cells, the way that they are, they react to that kind of material, because it's not like, you know, um, like fluffy on the inside, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and we also just got found out that we're going, oh my gosh, I can't get rid of this. Okay, we're just going to have to deal with this thing on my chin. Um, so on Sunday we're going to watch Man United play versus Everton. Um, it's Everton. I think so. So yeah, that's, that's exciting. We're in the VIP box and stuff like that. Oh, there's an ambulance at the hairdressers. <gasps> Guy, oh. check it out. Drama, drama up in the museum. That's where I used to go to get my hair done all the time. That's not where now. When I say I'm getting my hair done, that's not where I go, but it's where I used to go. I don't know what's happened. Someone slipped with one some one scissors. Is. Anyway, yeah. So that's the plan for the weekend, guys. <laughs> Guys, so after someone suggested this on Instagram, Tom went out and bought me this. It is a Silver Crest stomach and back heating pad. Pad. Obviously, I'm going to use it for my stomach, and it wraps around, and but it basically plugs in similar to an electric blanket. But I won't. So when I'm at home, guys, I can just use this, and then I can just take my heat packs that I buy from Paman out, like side, like when I leave the house. Therefore, I don't have to keep buying as many. Um. But yeah, so if anyone's wondering where this is from, it's from Lidl and it was $14.99 and it shuts off after 90 minutes, so if I fall asleep with it on, which will probably happen, I'm not going to wake up and like be sweating kind of thing. And then if I'm still in pain when I wake up in the middle of the night, I can always switch back on for another 90 minutes, so... You need to buy them quick. You need to buy them quick, guys. You know, Lidl don't... After they bring items in, they usually don't keep them in for too long, so go get them while you can. They, I think it comes in grey as well, but obviously I got pink. Um, but yeah, so we're on our way to <coughs> Little now, guys. Uh, not Little, Little the Lowry. The Lowry. <laughs> I can't really remember the last thing I vlogged, but my eyebrows look so big. What is going on? Um, we're home. I couldn't find a onesie, or the one I wanted, they didn't have my size. And then I found another one that I really, really liked. But the smaller size they did in was size 8, and it just buried me. Like, it was a big size 8. Like, I would say it was at least a size 10 or 12. Maybe bigger. Anyway, I'm home now. I've got my new heat pack on. <laughs> I have to say, it works wonders. And it really gets, like, the whole area. Whereas my other heat pack, which my normal one, like these ones, they only can go in small areas. But I have to say, it feels like I'm wearing a bloody corset or something. But, yeah. I definitely think this is going to be, when I've got my feed connected and all that stuff, I feel like it's going to be a lot of wires and s tangles and... Anyway... 
I'm so tired. Um, yeah, so tomorrow we're going to go to Trafford. We're going to have a look then for onesies and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to have a look online tonight and see if I can find anything. The only thing is I don't want to buy it online and then it not fit. That's the only thing. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I really hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. Um, I'm going to try and get some sleep now because I'm like in a good position, like pain-wise. By the way, I've took my eyelashes off, that's why my eye, eye makeup's looking crazy. I took off my, uh, yeah, I'm in a good position, pain-wise. So I'm going to try and get some sleep while I feel decent, while my meds have like kicked in. So I love you guys so, so much. I'll try and edit this vlog tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow. See you guys.